Traditional techniques to study subcellular function within a tissue often involve homogenizing the sample. This leads to a loss of tissue-specific spatial information, such as the exact location of the cells, thus making it impossible to understand cellular function and interactions in the spatial context. But is there a way to obtain information about individual cells, their gene expression and interactions within a sample while still preserving tissue integrity? Spatial transcriptomics involves a range of novel methods that provide information on various cell types identified by RNA expression profiles mapped to their location in the tissue. There are four main types of spatial transcriptomic methods, microdissection, in situ sequencing, in situ capturing, and in situ hybridization. Microdissection involves the excision of regions of interest from a tissue sectioned using a microscope. The isolated cells are then used for RNA extraction and gene expression profiling. Even though this technique provides a high degree of flexibility, it remains laborious. In situ sequencing involves RNA sequencing of transcripts within the tissue. mRNA is reverse transcribed to cDNA after which padlock probes bind to the target genes of interest and enable rolling circle amplification. These rolling circle products can then be visualized using fluorescent oligonucleotides. This method provides insights into the gene expression profiles at subcellular resolution. However, the capture efficiency and resolution are typically low. In situ capturing requires tissue sections to be placed on an array containing spatial barcodes. RNA molecules are released from the tissue, captured at the barcoded location, and then sequenced externally. After that, the location-specific barcodes are used to reassemble the spatial gene expression profiles in the sample. Although this technique can be applied to larger tissue sections, it has poor capture efficiency and low resolution. In situ hybridization is a widely adopted technology. RNA in situ hybridization allows the visualization of single molecules. This technique is known as SM Fish. Here, targets of interest are directly visualized on intact tissue using complementary fluorescence labeled RNA probes. This method provides high cellular and subcellular transcript resolution, high sensitivity, and specificity. It also provides robust signal for the quantitative measure of transcripts down to the subcellular level as seen in these images generated with Resolve Biosciences Molecular Cartography Platform. For more information on spatial biology and how Resolve Biosciences Molecular Cartography Platform can resolve the most complex biological challenges, check out our InFocus on Spatial Biology.